Okay, welcome back, kind of, I'm going to say, although it will be in a continuous video. We've had a few weeks off of the E-Type, the 2 plus 2, because of the bonnet issue, with it being terrible, finding another bonnet. So what we've done is we've had the original bonnet back, as you saw, uh, stripped it down. We sent the panels that we're going to keep off to be chemically stripped at Pro Strip. That is the main upper panel and the wings, and then the rest of it we've got new. So we've got some bits down here in the box, a new lower balance and some of the internal bits. So once those bits are back from the dipper, we can continue with the front. Uh, but in that time, we've done a few last little bits to the shell, you know, little knick-knacky jobs that we've had to do, seat mounts we've put in, tidied up some of the edges. It's now back off of the jig for the first time. And then we've got to all the bits of weld that we couldn't get to whilst it was on the jig. So that is good, that's a good thing that we've done. We also repaired the rear hatch. So we've had the skin off of the frame, repaired the frame, and then repaired where the bolt's on, and then put the skin back on and gapped it to the body. And that's pretty much what we've been doing whilst we're waiting for the dipping to be done. So other than the bonnet to sort, put the A-frames all on, we'll then, once that's done, we'll go around and do all the lead work in here and here and here and here, and around the front bulkhead, clean the eco off of the doors, and then we'll pretty much be ready to get it outside for some pictures and then put it through to the paint stages, the epoxy primer and everything. So it shouldn't be much longer and the metal work will be done. Check out some of our other restoration videos that are on the page, because they're pretty good actually, aren't they? I like the alpha ones. The alpha ones are good. Um, yeah, so that's where we are with it. It's taking a little bit longer than we wanted, a bit of delays, but we're getting there. That's life, isn't it? With this stuff. Nothing really more to report. Do you want to hear this? It's like a golf. The other one's better. Is it? Yeah. Mm. All right then, the, uh, the Johnny Long door is basically finished as uh, a shell, the metal work, because we are just waiting for the parts of the bonnet that we're going to use to come back from being dipped. You can see inside there, there's the new lower balancing. There's a couple other little bits that might be in there. A couple other little bits of bonnet and some stuff over there in the box. So the last sort of job on the shell Stan is doing now, as you can see, look at him, look, doing it. So you can see where he's cleaned up these joints here and here and underneath on the valance here. And this one up here on the wing, he's cleaned them back ready. So he's just tinned the joint in there. So he's just putting the lead in now and paddling it in. And he's done the front bulkhead joints ready. And then once he's gone round, he'll file all of these down with the file here. It's already got out on the floor. Start filing them down with the bastard file. So that's where we are. That's about as exciting as that gets so far. Next step will be, so we'll clean the shell up and do a little video, bit of videoing then. And then it will be all the bonnet repairs and getting that put together and get it to fit the shell. And um, that is, that's, that's it. I hope you've been enjoying the video so far, huh? That's it finished. Well, that'll be it for the metal work and then we better slap some paint on it. So um, yeah, make sure you keep watching and like and subscribe. Look at that, look at that there. It's ridiculous. Okay. But we've now got the bonnet all the bits that we sent off back for the E-Type, which is up here. I'm just about to start cleaning these up. Obviously they've been dipped, but I'm now gonna go over them with some phosphoric acid and clean them all up. So I'll show you how we do that. And it just gets rid of a little bit of the surface rust where they've come out the dip and they've been sort of sat around and where people have touched it. Handprints over here. So it's got a bit of a horrible, um, oil that they just spray over it at the moment. So I'll clean that off with some thinners and then I'll acid it and get those cleaned up. They're not horrendous. It's got a bit of laciness down the sides here and around the arches, 
which is pretty standard for an E-type. Uh, yeah, not nice. Uh, obviously, there's that slight tap here that it had, and we've got some old holes which have been MIG welded up where it must have had a number plate screwed on there at some point, so we'll get rid of those. Stan is already over here. Started on this wing already, doing some repairs, so he's cut the flange off along here, and he's just starting to make the new one. Uh, and then we'll go around and do this wire edge, rewire edge it, and start building it all back up. So that is what we're doing on the E-Type. I'll keep you posted on that. So we're not that far away now. Once we've got the bonnet done, we'll be chucking it back on the car, gapping it to the bulkhead. Then we'll be ready to get it through into the paint stages. We have completed all of the bonnet repairs. We didn't film everything because it was quite boring. We've cleaned all the e-coat off of all those new panels and they're all in the booth, ready for some epoxy primer. We've wire edged all the way around the front wings and we also gapped them to the seals. So we've got a nice panel gap on those. So we are mixing up some epoxy primer. We're gonna put a couple of coats of that on to all of the areas that need to be covered and we're going to spray it right the way down inside all the nooks and crannies so that it's all protected so obviously the dip strips all the paint from everywhere and we'll get it out and get it put back together now stan is flying ahead with the e-type now it's in the last few stages of the bodywork which just so happens to be the bonnet which is about half the car so he's just repaired all the original steel bonnet a couple of new panels were fitted into it we've also redone all the arches the valance is new and then basically repaired this top edge and then got it so it fits across the bolt head and everything do you want to do you want to open it up for us so we can have a little look underneath because it looks quite nice what you've done there so it's been stripped down and everything underneath has been epoxy primed and obviously all the new fitting kit is in there. So the next stage, now we've got it pretty much lined up where we want it, will be all of these, ow, all of these sections here. We shall take those off and then bond them back to the bonnet, which will then give it some strength because at the moment you tip it and it's like blah, 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 like that and that's not cool. So that is the next job. And then we are pretty much there with the bodywork. As you can see, we've been doing the dry fit with all the trims and the handles and bumpers and everything. So it'll be a final last dry fit, clean it all up with some acid, and then we'll get it outside and do a bit of a walk around, a little video, get some pictures there. And that'll be it, ready to go into its paint prep stages. So it's been a long-winded process, this one, quite a large job, but we've got there. And uh, yeah, Stan's done an awesome job of getting this one done. As it is a two plus two, it's basically doing two cars in one because it's so long. Yep. What are you doing there, Charles? What am I doing today? Today, all three of us are giving the series one, two Bar plus two, Johnny Long Door clown shoe, greenhouse, its final acid. Oh, acid, not varnish. Uh, to get any last sort of bits of surface rust or anything that's picked up over the time while Stan's been doing all the metal work. And then we will strip it all down into panel form and prep it up ready to go into its epoxy primer, which will seal in all this steel and stop it sort of going surface rusty again. It's got really good adhesion promotions and also good anti-corrosion properties. So that's, that's good stuff. And that's what we're doing. Sorry that was boring. That was a boring sentence but that is what's happening. But in a minute, when we clean it all off, it's gonna look nice. We'll get a time lapse on that. Oh yeah, we'll time lapse on that. Oh, <laughs> I really? thought you'd sunk the car into the floor, but no, you were just sitting on, standing on a box. Oh yeah, I was standing on the box, yeah. Up on my fucking soapbox. It's a really tall car. It is a really tall car. Can you get it in the camera? It's so long. No, hang on, let's go. Okay, <laughs> even on the white. There you go. Can you go outside and do it? 1967 clown shoe. Look how far 
That is it then. That's the E-Type metalwork all completed. Unless Stan suddenly remembers he's forgotten something. That face looks like he's forgotten yeah, something. Yeah. So we've given it a final acid over and cleaned it. And we've also done a little dry fit of some of the components we got here. So you can sort of see how they fit. Stan's just given a little clean just because he wants to look busy in the video. So they're on, obviously door handles, trims, and blah, 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 all that stuff. Bumpers on, Aid's over there. Hello. And that's basically it. I'm not really sure what else you want me to tell you about it. It's been about 1,500 hours on this to get all of that metal work done, as if you've seen the first episode or two, you would have seen how bad of a shape that the car was in. It had quite a hard life and it was a bit of a rusty mess. I'm trying to get the whole thing in one shot, but it's so long, There's stupid long. doors on it. Uh, yeah, that's where we are. So it's basically a brand new car now in terms of condition of the steelwork. Obviously we still got a lot of original panels here with bulkheads, bonnet, roof, boot lid, a few other little bits and pieces. So the next job is to strip the panels off and get it back down to just a bare shell and panels, get all the front A-frame off and we'll get it in the booth and get it sprayed into epoxy primer all on the outside, all underneath, just goes on forever, that floor pan, under there. And also we'll get all of the inside sprayed into epoxy primer as well. And then when that's baked off, we'll get it back out of the booth, all paneled back up. And then we'll be able to start the fillings, leveling up of all of the bits and pieces and starting to get it to look even straighter than it already does. It's quite good considering it's just in a bare steel form. And I don't really know what else to tell you. It's really long. It's really, really long. We're gonna need an extra long, long block to block this one down. And in the next episode, it will be all the paint prep. We'll start all of that. So make sure you stay tuned like and subscribe, like the videos, comment below. I don't know how many videos there's been. This is probably the third or fourth in this because it's a big job. Uh, and we're almost there, you know? It's the last bit, the paint stage. Stan's done an awesome job of the metal work. He's pulling a face, he's never heard that before. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching and I look forward to hearing your comments. Have a nice day.